Member for Chilliwack Kent. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. Each year, November 20th is set aside as Transgender Day of Remembrance. This is to recognize those who have been killed due to ignorance and hatred, targeted because they were transgender, non-binary, or two-spirit. This year, this day, was observed in the aftermath of yet another horrific attack on the LGBTQ community that left five dead and 25 injured at Club Q in Colorado Springs. November 20th is a day when we honor the memory of thousands of transgender people who have been murdered, hurt, marginalized because of transphobia and violence against them and a day when we affirm our commitment to end the harm against people who are our co-workers, neighbors, friends, and family members. The reality is that transgender people continue to face stigma and discrimination which puts people at risk for much higher rates of violence, poverty, mental health issues, and other complex challenges. And we know this is even more difficult for people of color and indigenous people. Although much has been done to better support people in BC transgender community, we know we still have a long way to go, and we are committed to a better society that is safe and inclusive for all. It is every person's right to be who they are without fear of stigma, because more inclusive society leads to a higher quality of life for everyone. Honourable Speaker, as you know, I have the honour of representing Chilliwack Kent. In Chilliwack, we are also doing the work towards a safe and inclusive community to make sure our trans friends and neighbours have access to supports and services when they need it. We have the Chilliwack Gender Support Network, the Chilliwack Gender Care Clinic, and the Chilliwack Youth Health Centre, who offer critical and accessible supports in our community. Chilliwack is also home to the first openly trans person elected in our province, the first openly trans man in Canada, Terry Westerby. Representation and visibility that will undoubtedly have an impact on the culture and fabric, not only of Chilliwack, but of our province. I hope that all of my colleagues will join me in recognizing this important day of observance and the work to come. Thank you.